Day one of demolition is complete. Uh, they had a bin delivered this morning. Um, they've been filling it and you can see there's about that much stuff in it. I'm going to take you inside and show you what they've done. First, I'll kind of talk about how they prep the room. There's a zipper door here to keep the dust on the inside. There's a similar um, barrier here for the door to the dining room. Um, they've taken off the door to the dining room and they put in plastic. Um, and the door to the nook, um, they put up a cloth barrier. Um, it wasn't as important to protect the this room from dust because we're going to be uh, changing the floors in there and we've given it to them as a staging area. Um, they put up plastic on the windows and plastic on this window as well. Um, let's start from the bottom and go up. And so this is the floor. This is the, the floor that we had in here. Um, it's eventually going out. The reason that they left it in is because we just have the floor joists underneath running at a diagonal. You can see that here under the plastic. Uh, oh, they've stapled it down, but you can take a look at that diagonal there. Um, and so if we took that out, all of the dust would fall down into the basement because there's no ceiling in the basement. And so they've kept that um, to keep the dust down there, but also um, this floor is going away anyway, so there's no need to protect it. Um, so that go, there's the floor. It's interesting to note that um, this floor doesn't go all the way to the wall. Um, this is one of my complaints about the past, um, the last reno. Okay, let's talk about the cabinets. The cabinets came out. That was probably the easiest part of the job. Um, they used uh, drivers and they unscrewed all the doors and took the carcasses outside. Um, they've taken out the sink. They've cut out the connectors. Um, there's a chimney uh, or yeah, a chimney there for the sink so that you can vent to the outside and also a drain. Um, they've cut that off. It's going to be replumbed. It's going to the sink is going to be in the same location, but it's going to be replumbed. Um, so now the electricity, we have some plugs sitting in different places. We also have knob and tube. For people who've never seen what knob and tube looks like, that's what it is. Um, it's, it's, none of it is live, it's all dead. So they're safe touching it. There's a little bit of concern. Um, and then they took off the plaster. Uh, plaster is heavy. This is the lath. This is the uh, kind of construction that they did in the 1920s. So they would put the, this lath and they would up, apply the plaster to it. So it's lasted a hundred years. Well, maybe not exactly a hundred years, but close to it. It would have, there's no reason why it wouldn't have kept on going. There were cracks in the plaster and in some places, um, it was being held up by wallpaper, um, which helped it come out in pieces. Um, so there, I think are maybe 60, 70% done. Um, they're gonna come through again tomorrow and clean up some more of this. One of our requests for our builder, our contractor, is that we get as much width into this room as possible. Um, and we might be able to get some here. You can see how far back, you can see how far, how thick the plaster is. We might be able to step it back that much and then a little bit from the lath. Well, it depends on the drywall. The other thing here is that we had a bump out. Um, some The wall came out a little bit here and it turns out that it came out because they needed the space for the pipes. So we'll probably have to preserve that space for the pipes, but we're gonna see if we can buy that space in a different way. Um, and also this is lath and then this is double brick construction. So this is one brick, an air gap, and, an, and the exterior brick to the house, typical of this era. Um, we're going to open this up and see what we can get in there and see what's the best way to get some insulation. Uh, this room is a little bit cold right now because that um, fan that I showed you earlier is a little bit open. So maybe we'll try and tape it up uh, to get the house not so cold. But uh, that's day one. Um, they've done a really great job. They worked hard all day. And also this is what a broom swept condition uh, workspace looks like at the end of the day. Do your contractors do this?